Biden says he's still pushing to get both of his agenda-defining spending bills passed in Congress. He made the remark Saturday morning before leaving the White House for Wilmington, Delaware. The president met with House Democrats Friday for about 30 minutes as negotiations continued. Lawmakers say he discussed cutting the larger social programs bill by more than a trillion dollars. Despite the deadlock, Congress was able to solve one of their pressing problems Saturday. CBS News' Michael George has the details. Without objection, so ordered. The Senate extended the Surface Transportation Act for another month by unanimous consent. The rare Saturday session lasted less than four minutes. The extension heads to President Biden for his signature, allowing funding for certain highway and transit programs to flow again, and 3,700 Department of Transportation employees who were furloughed Thursday to return to work. But the debate over a trillion-dollar infrastructure bill and a bigger spending plan continues, with Democrats unable to get a deal. There is no reason why both these bills couldn't pass independently, except that they're not the votes to do it that way. It's a simple proposition. And so I think it makes sense. I support both of them, and I think we can get them both done. President Biden spoke before taking off for Wilmington, Delaware, where he'll spend the weekend. Late Friday, the president visited Capitol Hill to try to bring progressives and moderates in his party together, who remain split on the cost of the bill. There is a little bit of a distrust uh, among the progressives and the moderates, and we're trying to, fi we're trying to figure out a, a process. How do we get there? How do we land this plane? Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell issued a statement that says Democratic leaders are letting the radical left run Capitol Hill. He's upset the House has twice delayed a vote on the infrastructure bill after the Senate passed the measure in August. Michael George, CBS News. Jennifer Shutt joins me now from Washington. She's a budget and appropriations reporter for CQ Roll Call. Jennifer, good to have you with me. President Biden says that he wants Democrats to strike a compromise in order to move forward. Where do negotiations currently stand? So negotiations right now on that large